Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive Jiu-Jitsu, defensive Jiu-Jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the Jiu-Jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. All right, should be interesting to see how it goes for him here tonight. This is a high-level wrestler of the highest order. No questioning the cardio. He's got a big fight in front of him here tonight. Every time he steps foot into the octagon, he does one thing, and that's embrace the grind. He gets right in your face. He pushes forward. He gets to the clinch. Loves the single leg takedown. If he can grab your leg, it's like getting caught in a vice grip, getting grabbed by a crocodile. He is going to finish it. He starts to run his feet immediately. When he can get you moving, he is always looking to advance from position one to position two to eventually finishing that great single leg that he possesses. And when he closes the distance, best of luck trying to buck this guy off of you. He does pummel drills in his sleep. Big fight for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Modesto, California, Bone Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, three losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Regina, Saskatchewan, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion. You begin your instruction in the dressing room, protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch guards this make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. We are underway. Opens with the inside leg kick. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Single collar tie now. Big off punch land. Now we'll get back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. <laughs> so he tie. He comes through with a big knee. He hurt him. <laughs> that one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> and he landed the right hand there. He engages in the single collar tie. So the fighters engage in the clinch here early on in the fight. It's certainly got to be mindful of the gas tank. Don't want to empty it too bad here in the early going. He understands that in the clinch, he is wearing his opponent down. So look for him to do this over and over. He 
take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch lands over the top. I was going to follow this one. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. Take it for a ride. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're just looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Good, solid strike on the ground. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pat to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. All right, half guard position for him here, and I can hear Dominic Cruz in the back of my head just screaming about underhooks somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. he loved. I mean, but he's right, right? He's so right in terms of if you're on your back in the half guard, one thing you can't be is flat on your back. You need to be up on an elbow. Right. You need to be half on the side, and you need to control the far side underhook. It is a battle for underhook when you're fighting in the half guard position on the back. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Boy, tie plump. Ooh, what a punch. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this whole fight. And they separate. Switching stances here. Back and forth we go here! He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, <laughs> oh beautiful elbows there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Throwing that jab, no good. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a corner, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You 
start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over leg kicks, and you start to see the damage, not only in the leg, but in the facial expression right in the pole. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, big knee. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Nice. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see... Oh, nice job to put in the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style. He gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Can you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us? He doesn't have to be more. The more he can slip strikes, the longer he can prolong his career. Great punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Unable to connect with a right hook. Right hand punch the clinch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Good stick. Punches blocked. He's got that right hand going tonight, DC, connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs. To throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. Big punch lands through the middle. Good work getting in the way of that knee. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knee. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. 
someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Control this fight. Oh, collar tie. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And they separate. Ooh, what a punch. Leg Both kick. fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Right at the elbow, the body kick lands. Again, they will clinch. Ooh, head kick lands from hurt. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Nice one-two there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Massive elbow from the clinch. What a big time takedown. Close guard. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Ground and pound strike is true. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, that'll work. The grounded pound strike is good. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Under two minutes to go. Back to the feet now. Beautiful strike. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. When you're in a clinch, you get pulled down from the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. For them. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? All right, single collar tie now, and they separate. Again, back into this position. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Straight punch land. Oh, clip position. Watch the knees and the elbows come now. Working out of that southpaw stance. Takedown defense holds up. Oh. These guys are going at it. Back and forth we go. Way to hide that leg kick. Single collar tie now. Oh, big elbow. Straight right. Oh, that's a nice strike. And they separate. 
All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. No problem. Let's recover, relax, shake it off. Forget that last round. This round, we're really going to set up those games. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. That knee might have landed there. Oh, good series of knees by him there, working the head, working the body. He is going all over the place tonight. He is using that knee to really dictate where the fight takes place. That knee might have landed there. Once again, employing the knee. Lands a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of driving it right to the target. Get it to land. Exactly. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Great diversity in his attack. Nice elbow from the clinch. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, thunderous leg kick on him. Lifted a little bit, tried to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Get him chopping the wood. Chops the wood with those leg kicks. Single collar tie. Oh, nice elbow. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Back and forth we go. Checks that leg kick. Right hand punch from the clinch. Nice punch lands over the top. tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, nine seconds of round number four. For the winner, by submission, Brock 
right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.